Good evening, Karina Cavalio with ABC News. The Premier has given her deputy the job of sorting out the state's troubled train system. Jackie Trad will take on the transport portfolio, a decision the opposition has described as overloading responsibilities. The Cabinet reshuffle was sparked by the resignation of Sterling Hinchliffe. Alone out of Cabinet, Sterling Hinchliffe has broken his silence after losing the Transport Ministry. I feel I've uh, done the right thing by the Palaszczuk government. I've done the, the thing that uh, is, uh, will ensure that there is the right people in place uh, to, uh, with a clean slate. The besieged portfolio has been returned to Deputy Premier Jackie Trad, who will also juggle infrastructure and planning. She is as tough as steel. And I know that no one, no one will get in her way. Trad has been given the mammoth task of turning around the embattled Queensland rail system, which has been plagued by driver shortages and service cancellations. This is a large and complex regional railway network and there will be mechanical faults. There will be issues from time to time and this is not going to be fixed overnight. Queenslanders have lost faith in this government's ability to be able to deliver transport services. Kate Jones too has expanded her responsibilities, taking back the Commonwealth Games portfolio in addition to education and tourism. I know what a game changer this is for Queensland's tourism industry. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to working with the tourism industry. The new look ministry also includes a new face with the elevation of Fernie Grove MP Mark Ferner. I've always had aspirations one day and today I've seen that uh, come to fruition so I am extremely humbled to uh, being given that opportunity. This is the government's second reshuffle within four months, creating even more so-called mega portfolios. But the ministers are confident this new arrangement will work. The government's unstable, people don't know who they're going to be dealing with. A new cabinet for a new year. Alison Horne, ABC News, Brisbane.